Canada, where they basically have the Obama system. And, and the Obama system will ultimately lead to Canada to a single pair. That's his intent. Canada has an incidence of colon cancer that is 10% higher than in the United States. They don't eat worse than we do. They are not allowed to have annual colonoscopies or three-year colonoscopies, whatever the cycle you're supposed to have is. They, we have colonoscopies much more frequently than they do. And as a result, they have a higher incidence of colon cancer. And once you get colon cancer, of those who have it, they have a 20% higher death rate from colon cancer. Because the most important, first of all, they discover it later, but secondly, the most important medication for colon cancer and for breast cancer is called Avastin, A-B-A-S-T-A-N. And it costs a lot per dose, and it is banned in Canada. Not because it's unhealthy, not because of side effects, but because it's too expensive. And as a result of that bureaucratic bean-counting decision, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Canadians have died who would have lived if they were allowed to take the drug Avastin. So what they're doing is dumbing down the healthcare system to the lowest common denominator. You, you remember a few years ago, two years ago I think, the feds announced that they were no longer gonna pay for annual mammograms. They, you had to have it every two years, but they wouldn't pay for annuals because it wasn't worth it, it wasn't worth it. Cost-benefit analysis, it didn't justify it. It only saved 13,000 lives a year. And for, to save cost-benefit, uh, it should be saving 70 or 80,000. So we're not gonna let you do it. Well, if that's my wife, my mother, my daughter, my sister, and they're one of that 13,000, you darn well bet that I want that annual mammogram. Right. And I'm not gonna listen to some bureaucrat tell me that I can't. It's not their decision. It's God's decision. Now, I don't know when life begins. Some people say it's conception. Uh, the court says it's viability. Uh, the pro-choice people say it's birth. But I can't say when you can vote. But, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you just wrote a line for my next speech. <laughs> What's your name so I can credit you? I am Martha from Winchester. Okay. <laughs> but but I, but we sure as hell know it ends at death, and that's a decision that God should make, not you should make, your doctors should make, not the federal government, and that's what's at stake in this house. So this is not about the pursuit of happiness, that's the economy. This is not about liberty even. Uh, that's issues like uh, cap and trade and issues like uh, um, the card check so that you have the freedom to vote down a union. This is about life. And that's what we are working on in this election, saving lives. It's come down to that. Now, on the economy, and let me just speak about politics for a minute, not just the merits of this issue. He will rue the day that Roberts upheld his law. 